ഹായ് ഐ എം ജയ്മോൾ ടോമി ഫ്രം എക്സൽ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഹ്യൂസ്റ്റൺ യു എസ് എ ഐ എം ടീച്ചിങ് ഹിയർ നഴ്സസ് ടു പാസ് ദയർ എൻക്ലസ് എക്സാം ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ടീച്ച് യു അബൌട്ട് ബി എൽ എസ് ബേസിക് ലൈഫ് സപ്പോർട്ട് ഈസ് ബി എൽ എസ് വാട്ട്സ് അതർ നെയിം ഫോർ ബി എൽ എസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സി പി ആർ കാർഡിയോ പൽമിനറി റിസിസ്റ്റേഷൻ ഓക്കെ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സ്റ്റാർട്ട് സംബഡി ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് യു കൊളാപ്സ്ഡ് വാട്ട് യു വിൽ ഡു you have to make sure the scene should be safe or the meaning of it not in the middle of the road or there should not be hanging wires or you have to make sure that no fire you should be safe to save somebody right make sure that the scene should be safe so the first step in bls is you are going to the person and you are assessing he is responsive or not how you assess so you okay like that you are trying to check his responsiveness you can shake and you, you can make sure that he is responsive if he is not responsive what's the second step in bls you have to call for help somebody please come and help me call 911 get me an aid like that you can try to get help from other person so that's the second step in bls what's the first step assessing second is you are calling for help third step in bls is you are going to check the pulse of course you have to make sure that whether it's an adult or child or infant how you know that it's an adult or the child or infant you have to make sure according to american heart association an adult is 8 year and above not 18 usually people will make mistake but 8 year and above is considering as adult infant of course less than 1 year okay so that is infant then who is child 1 to 8 year is child so this is the way american heart association is classifying so make sure that uh, according to aha how you have to do so now you came to the patient right you are going to check the pulse so that's a third step in bls so for an adult and child you are going to check the pulse where carotid okay and you have only 5 to 10 second to check it one second is like this so you think that 5 to 10 second you are not wasting any time within that 5 to 10 second you have to get the pulse if you are not getting the pulse then you have to move on that's why okay so for an infant where you are going to check the pulse brachial you have to check brachial pulse for an infant here also 5 to 10 second all right now you did not get the pulse what's the next step you will do you have to start cpr so you have to compress compress okay so when you are going to compress for an adult you are going to compress at least 2 inch deep you can go up to 2.4 inch but at least 2 inch depth it should be okay so how you are going to do it 2 inch deep and also make sure that the speed of that compression is 100 to 120 per minute okay so speed is 100 to 120 per minute and dp is 2 inch okay so like that you are going to give 30 compressions and two breath again 30 compressions two breath five times when you do that that is going to make two minutes every two minutes you are trying to check whether the ros key is achieved or not what is ros a return of spontaneous circulation that means the pulse you are checking the pulse is bike or not okay you are continuing this process till you get the pulse so when you are trying to do the compression make sure that the chest should be recoiled so that you can get the blood pumped all over the body and specifically make sure that it is going to the brain it can come back to the heart okay so make sure that the blood which is circulating well if you are not doing it properly you know that they can come with an anoxic brain injury okay you got the pulse back okay he it doesn't have the brain functioning that means you know like you can get the pulse back you can get the bp back but he is like a person who is vegetative conditions so it's better is always remember that if you are trying to say somebody do it properly from your heart at least 2 inch deep it should be okay the speed should be 100 to 120 okay so like that 30 compressions two breath so every two minutes you are going to check the pulse whether it's back or not once you got the pulse back 
then you can think about what's the reason okay so that is going to be your advanced cardiac life support that is also known as acls so now i am telling you about the adult right now think about the infant infant when you are trying to give the compression it is one and a half inch deep the rate is same 100 to 120 that's the speed you are looking 30 is to 2 compression for the infant and child when there is only one rescuer if there are more than one rescuers you have to do that is 15 is to 2 but child 2 inch deep infant one and a half inch depth so this is what is the basic life support is okay